The Quail King and the Hunter Unity Once upon a time, there was a quail king who reigned over a flock of a thousand quails. There was also a very clever quail hunter. He knew how to make a quail call. Because this sounded just like a real quail crying for help, it never failed to attract other quails. Then the hunter covered them with a net, stuffed them in baskets, and sold them to make a living. Because he always put the safety of his flock first. Quail King was highly respected by all. While on the lookout for danger, one day he came across the hunter and saw what he did. He thought, this quail hunter has a good plan for destroying our relatives. I must make a better plan to save us. Then he called together his whole nation of a thousand quails. He also invited other quails to attend the meeting. He said, Greetings to our quail nation and welcome to our visitors. We are faced with great danger. Many of our relatives are being trapped and sold by a clever hunter. Then they are being killed and eaten. I have come up with a plan to save us all. When the hunter covers us with his net, every single one of us must raise his neck at the same time. Then, all together, we should fly away with the net and drop it on a thorn bush. That will keep him busy, and we will be able to escape with our lives. All agreed to follow this smart strategy. The next day the hunter lured the quails with his quail call as usual. But when he threw his net over them, they all raised up their necks at once, flew away with the net, and dropped it on a thorn bush. He could catch no quails at all. In addition, it took him the rest of the day to loosen his net from the thorns, so he had no time left to try again. The same thing happened on the following day. So he spent a second day unhooking his net from sharp thorns. He arrived home only to be greeted by his wife's sharp tongue. She complained, you used to bring home quail to eat, and money from selling quails. Now you return empty-handed. What do you do all day? You must have another wife somewhere, who is feasting on quail meat at this very moment. The hunter replied, don't think such a thing, my darling. These days the quails have become very unified. They act as one, and raise up their necks and carry my net to a thorn bush. But thanks to you, my one and only wife, I know just what to do. Just as you argue with me, one day they too will argue, as relatives usually do. While they are occupied in conflict and bickering, I will trap them and bring them back to you. Then you will be pleased with me again. Until then, I must be patient. The hunter had to put up with his wife's complaints for several more days. Then one morning after being lured by the quail call, it just so happened that one quail accidentally stepped on the head of another. He immediately got angry and squawked at her. She removed her foot from his head and said, Please don't be angry with me. Please excuse my mistake. But he would not listen. Soon both of them were squawking and squawking, and the conflict got worse and worse. Hearing this bickering getting louder and louder, Quail King said, there is no advantage in conflict. Continuing it will lead to danger. But they just wouldn't listen. Then Quail King thought, I'm afraid this silly conflict will keep them from cooperating to raise the net. So he commanded that all should escape. His own flock flew away at once. And it was just in time too. Suddenly the quail hunter threw his net over the remaining quails. The two arguing quails said to each other, I won't hold the net for you. Hearing this, even some of the other quails said, why should I hold the net for anyone else? So the conflict spread like wildfire. The hunter grabbed all the quails, stuffed them in his baskets, and took them home to his wife. Of course she was overjoyed, and they invited all their friends over for a big quail feast. The moral is, there is safety in unity, 
and danger in conflict.